happen when you get money, niggas get mad at you. Look, whole start choosing, throwing cash at you. Cash, I mean pussy, nigga, you should know. It's all about the money, nigga, in the gold. Look, I feel like Masa Musa, I need all that. Uh, got some niggas around me, you should fall back. Uh, got an army with me, what you call that? That's my family, my tribe, nigga, all that. Look, I feel like Masa Musa in my mind state. What up, gang, gang, gang? You already know what it is, man. It's Guy King TV. I'm Patai. And um, I wanted to go and talk about some some real shit that um, uh, somebody in my Patreon group, they hit me and asked me a question on, you know, when, when you're on this no fat journey, what are some of the major pros of it, right? The major pros of it. And the first thing I told them was, No fat should turn you to a savage. And I mean savage in a good way. Not a savage in a fucking hurt, you know, a, a red pill nigga that's hurt. I'm talking about in a savage way of you now are, are crossing over into a, a, a certain type of energy that most niggas on the planet ain't going to be able to fuck with yet. And I'm talking about that level of discipline. Everybody ain't able to be uh, disciplined with their sexual energy. It's a very powerful thing to be able to uh, have some discipline with your sexual energy. I'm talking about on a level of, of mastering that shit to where it becomes a way of life that you are able to have this much control over your body in terms of your sexual energy. Because remember, your sexual energy and your ability to deal with your primal urges are very, very strong, if not one of the strongest um, um, energies that you feel on the planet. And I mean in terms of Knowing how to really sit here and master yourself in terms of saying, damn, I'm horny, yeah, I want to fuck, yeah. But I'm also aware of myself. And I'm also aware that, you know, I can deplete this energy at any given time. And I can, have, I can fuck off, have fun. You know, you can use it for sex and all that stuff, sex magic, all that shit. So your level of understanding of how to deal with your own body becomes something that most guys ain't even dealing with yet. So now think about how you bring this into the world now where you're dealing with some females or something. You got a female that you're kicking it with. You find yourself now probably trying to exercise this level of discipline with her. And she's probably, you know, like I said, all women are going to be vampiric. They're all going to be succubus. So you are supposed to be able to have a certain level of discipline so you can still focus on you, master your shit. She got shit she need to do, all that. So can you can you handle that level of mastery of yourself to where even when she ain't around the temptation to fuck off and have your sexual energy drain, which, you know, in so many words, what it does is it drains your ambition to a certain degree. Yeah, you can fuck off. But certain people, you know, when we utilize this ability to have that level of discipline, it does phenomenal things for us. For some people, they may be able to feel good off just going, you know, a couple weeks at a time. And that's fine. It's, it's all about just being able to have another level of mastery. Just find things in life that you can master. You see what I'm saying? Try to do it, you know, where it's not a, a, it's not imposed on you. You actually take the time to say, hey, I want to master that. I want to take the time out to learn that. And when it comes to most fab, uh, no fab, a lot of guys will make a lot of excuses as to why they don't want to go this route. And that's, everybody got their own choice, right? So what I'm saying is to the people who do actually have an awareness of themselves and, and seeing the, the great benefits of no fab, right? You, you, you're able to utilize that experience. And that's an experience that nobody can tell you about, right? Only you can experience that. And you can experience how it makes you feel. You may experience how the sense of oneness you may start to have with yourself. You may feel more gratitude, right? These things right here are something that helps you in life when it comes to just dealing with life. That's why it's so important to have levels of discipline, right? Now, this type of shit sets you apart from a lot of people, believe it or not. No fap sets you apart from a lot of niggas. I, please believe it. I know a lot of women. I talk to a lot of women. And they always say, you know... In terms of like, let's just say even if I'm, you know, talking sexually, right? What I know from doing Tantra is that most women are actually more 
uh, expressive when they talk about this with me about how much they actually love sex with the person who does tantra or has practiced semen retention. They just they can see a difference in the type of guy. And you know, men were men, but this shit turns you to a savage when you actually get to the point where you realize, like, yo, I'm I'm doing some beast mode shit. Like I'm actually able to control my urges. And you know, that's something to not take lightly, man, because it's something that, man, you know, we're bombarded with sex everywhere. We're bombarded with sex everywhere. So it's not like it's some nigga, you go on Instagram right now, you're gonna see bitches twerking, clapping cheeks, all type of crazy shit. You go on Twitter, you're gonna see it all. You go to the internet, you're gonna see sex all around you. So it's one of those things where you're pulled at from this level of gravity in terms of like that sexual energy is looking for your attention every aspect of life. So when you realize that sex is life and sex is creation and sex is everything, then you start to have a better understanding of, okay, no fap isn't just for me to just stop busting notes. It's actually more than that, right? And so that's why you hear terms of like um, cheek cultivation or you hear semen retention. You hear these terms. It's about you being able to understand that these are levels of tantra. These are beginning stages. So you got to understand this shit is way deeper than motherfuckers just giving y'all a red pill game online without telling y'all the real shit. So that's why a nigga like me come through and give y'all the real game. It's very deep. Because if you sit back and just ask yourself, why is it that sex sells? You know, that's going to be something I'm going to talk about in my next video. But, uh, you know, I just really wanted to break it down. Like, man, just just really understand that no fat turns you to a savage, man. Give yourself a pat on the back if you're able to start mastering going a couple weeks, months, or whatever. Just give yourself a pat on the back and realize, like, yo, this shit seems like whatever the whoever. But for sure, for sure, you got to know that you are actually a level up over these other niggas. You're a level up already because you're able to start to initiate your own self to discipline, right? To bettering yourself in a way that you can master yourself. So nobody got to tell you like, yo, yo, man, you, sh you should try to make it a lifestyle where you, can, you don't fuck off too much in terms of that. But at the same time, it ain't rules to the shit. It's just you being able to understand the energy you're dealing with, right? So... Just give yourself a pat on the back, man, because that's something that a lot of men are struggling with, you know, and it takes a level of mastery, man. So salute to y'all, man. I just really wanted to do a video on that real quick, and I'm going to talk a little bit more in my next couple videos about some other shit, man. We're going to talk about why sex sells and how does that work. Look, what happened when you get money? Niggas get mad at you. Look, whole start choosing, throwing cash at you. Cash, I mean pussy, nigga, you should know. It's all about the money, nigga, in the gold. Look, I feel like Masa Musa, I need all that uh, Got some niggas around me, you should fall back uh, Got an army with me, what you call that? That's my family, my tribe, nigga, all that